Over growing pains and even when his best friend got traded you know he still did his thing so i have to put kyle lowry as one of the greatest um uh, lucas says boucher needs to come back i know that spreads the floor so much more think about it boucher easily scores 11 points a game no problem you know what i'm saying so boucher siakam's not on the floor like come on precious had like 10 boards let me see precious let me see precious's stats right now because i think you're right precious was a problem tonight i feel like trip Precious could have had a triple-double. Yeah, he almost had a triple-double tonight. He had 13 points, 13 rebounds. If he had a, if, if his if his other assists converted, three steals. This guy was all over the place and played 29 minutes. He was a problem, yo. We were at 4,000 likes, by the way. Shout-outs to y'all. Um, uh, that Yes. I, I feel like LYVK69, hilarious, says the game was close. It was very close. OG's getting 25 next game. Hey, man, it, OG had a good game today, 17 points. I feel like Nick Nurse is just like, you know, resting his boys today. Precious, they all played 29 minutes. Scotty played 30, which is awesome. He was on the court a little bit longer. Freddie Galepsi, eh? Tristan 8, I think. Trish, Tristan 8 says uh, Freddie G got to go. Freddie, Freddie Galepsi. Man, I don't know. I hate seeing anyone have to leave, especially the fact that Freddie Galepsi hasn't had an entire season, right? Or Yeah, like he hasn't even had an entire season on the Raptors. So I just don't think it's fair for the roster to not have. I mean, the man had six boards today. Like you know, there's more than just the scoring aspect, I think, for cer from certain players. I feel like if we get guys like Pascal back in and Boucher back in, it helps bring, you know what I'm saying? It, br it helps bring more scoring power, whereas Galepsi now could focus more on rebounding and, you know, defense. That's his role, in my opinion. I feel like OG will be an all-star. I feel like OG will be an all-star this year as well, man. It's uh, it's looking promising for him. He's putting up numbers. He looks so comfortable with the ball. It's insane, y'all. I, I, yo, today, today's game was lit. It was. We were almost there. We were almost there. And this is with like the bench. And this is also playing Celtics. I, I was excited for today's game because I wanted to see how we would face up against Tatum and 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 his people. And today was a really great game to see. And to think that it was preseason. Do you think Lowry finishes career with us? This is by Marcus underscore football 19. I, I hope so. I hope he does even what um, Paul Pierce did with the Celtics, even if it's just a one day contract. I, you know, I hope he either has a one year contract with us or a one day contract, something. But he needs to retire. I, I, I hope so. My friends used clown on me for being OG fan. My friends used. Here's the thing. OG, in the great words of Kenny Smith, OG was two years away from being two years away, man. Honestly, you know, OG's coming back from injuries. This They've seen this in OG since they recruited him. And I think it was remarkable and I think it was great for, for OG to have someone like Kawhi on the team so that he could kind of see and get mentored by that leadership. Because I, I'm telling you, he is a baby Kawhi. He's going to have a dirty jump shot and his threes are going to be nuts and he's going to be all be able to he's he's already I hope he's all defense this year. Right? Yeah, y'all are y'all are going in. Yo, shout out to my boy Trey.365. Yerp in the building. Yo, he's a he was he's been uh supporting the Raptors page from the absolute beginning. So y'all go show him some love. Uh, Scotty Barnes should play center because of his size. <laughs> this is by Fred23 Van Vliet. Yo, Scotty Barnes could play any position. I, I know he's, but I like, I, I just love where the Raptors are going as a team, man. They're so long. They are so long. They're up and down the court. They've, they're insane. They're insane. Like it, it's hard to play them on defense. You know, it's hard to, offensively score on them i said this before if you're gonna beat the raptors you have to your three-point game has to be on point how many threes did they have today 40 they were 47 percent from the three i'm telling you you cannot beat the raptors unless you're 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 you 
you should be almost getting 50% from the three if you're going to beat the Raptors. Like, look how close the game was. And the Raptors weren't even shooting that well from the three either. They're only 34% today. So I just want you guys to, to see this. Like, the overall, Boston had a way better game than we did. But just so that I'm looking at the stats right now, man. You know, I, I, I'm telling you right now. If you're going to beat the Raptors this year, you have to have record numbers for threes because they're so their length is like Philly. They won last time. They're never going to shoot that many threes. So we'll see what happens. I feel like Delano Banton can be a really good player, but might need to spend a few years in 905. Great observation. I think um, I think we could. I, I, I agree. I think uh, the development for him and uh, there's a Bonga would be a phenomenal opportunity for them to go to the 905. And I think switch and like switch back and forth. Kind of what we did with Boucher. You know, Boucher was called up some games and then other games he would be in the 905. But overall, he played phenomenal. So I, I totally agree with what you're saying. What plays do you finish the season on? Dang, Trey's, Trey's asking the tough ones. Um, it's tough to say because we're losing preseason games, but I know with Pascal, like, look at how close our games are. Like, let me just kind of see how the Raptors overall have been doing. Um, let me see their schedule. Oh, yeah. So the okay, the other game they lost to Philly by by twelve, but Philly was how much how much did they score that that game? Again, they had a they were forty eight percent from the from the three point line. You see what I'm saying? Like this is what it is against the Toronto Raptors. You have to be so. I hope with Pascal in, with Boucher in, with Kem Birch in. It adds a few more rebounds. It adds a lot less three pointers because it adds more length and versus like it add, with them being on the court adds more uh, length to the Toronto Raptors defense. So I don't think there's this many three pointers from a lot of teams. So carrying that into factor, I hope we make it top eight. I feel like we could do anything. I mean, I I feel like. Five, six would be great for us this year. Trey says it's going to be okay. See, anywhere fourth and sixth. I see that. And I think people would underestimate the fourth, but that's exactly where I feel like they would go. Now, Fred 20, <laughs> I love this, uh, the, the the handle. Fred 23 Van Vliet says, P, uh, point guard, this is your starting five. Um, Fred as point guard, Trent as shooting guard, OG as power forward, Pascal as or sorry, OG as sh uh, small forward, Pascal as power forward, and and Scotty Barnes as center. Eh? How tall is Scotty again? Is Scotty six eleven? Scotty six eleven. I'm just gonna double check. He's six ten. Oh, no, 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 no. How tall is Scotty Barnes? I think he's 6'10", right? Let's go to bio. Yeah, no, I, I'm not sure how tall Scotty Barnes is. Is he? Nah, then he couldn't be center. If he's, if he's shorter than 6'10", I don't think he could be a center. I don't think you'd want Scotty Barnes as a center. Also, thank you for 5.7 likes, y'all. Let's go. I appreciate y'all, man. This is I'm tr let's try to get to 10k. We're trying to get to we're trying to be the best uh live on this, yo. Come on now.